This is a, a new poem, my newest. Um, it's called Welcome to Humanity. And before I start, I want to explain uh, one of the phrases that I use in the poem. I look up words uh, kind of obsessively. I like to write them down, like uh, keep make my own dictionary basically, collect words quite literally. Um, and one of the phrases or words that I came across is, is Potemkin village. Um, and it, it's a reference to an old wives tale or a legend, I suppose, um, about, I believe it was the Prince of Russia was betrothed to Queen Elizabeth's daughter or something of that nature. Um, and she was coming in on a ship to visit so that they could meet for the first time. And as she was coming in, the legend goes that he had a group of people go out and set up um, a village made of cardboard or something of the like uh, so that they could easily tear it down and move it to the next spot. Um, so she would go through what appeared to be a village, very grand and just, you know, maybe not grand, but cute and quaint and there's a lot of cool stuff going on or whatever. And move it to the next spot and she'd see something very similar but different and this, this whole idea of this isn't real but I'm building a Potemkin village. Um, and the guy's name was Potemkin. Um, so, sort of that, uh, giving that background, so that, because otherwise that part of the poem might not make any sense. Um, but yeah, this is called Welcome to Humanity. This is all we know. After the fall, we dropped the ball. Gaul followed after an awful approach. And now we're stuck, without proof of deadly fuck. Wanting in life just the least amount of suck. So we can duck the wire and escape the fire, but with no chance to act on any earthly desires. So you acquire a savior just to save your soul. But what comes next? Shit, you don't get to know. Just have faith that God is just. Fuck, what else? Trust in pixie dust? This world may be broken, but I can't accept it. So you'll find me on the street corners atop my boxes of antiseptics. Because I've been watching the planet's message, and I talked to the man that blessed it. We were granted a grand investment, but we planted our plans to reject it. We were handed a land to nest in, but we branded a bland expression. There's nothing less than misdirection, so it's time for a fresh perspective. And put on your glasses. Use your rational eyes. See that you can't rationalize without your daily ration of lies. And all these aspirations of exasperation are just an aberration from the track we're racing. See, here's the earth. You can leave her or take her. And that's what God said when he signed off in Pangea's divorce papers. But we're seen as a force of nature, meant to glean any course we make up. But of course, if we cross a cross, we take up, scream and wake up. We adapt to Scarlet Z for zealotry, thinking everyone around is fucking green with jealousy, praying to be seen like you're a goddamn Pharisee, but it, to me it just seems like heresy. You embarrass me. So welcome to your home. Welcome to calamity. Welcome to the throne. Welcome to humanity. Excuse the profanity, but fuck all this vanity. Fuck all this bullshit everybody keeps handing me. I know we didn't plan to be a planet of insanity, but the sycophantic path has us fucked up. Substantially. It's the floor of the DeLorean. Prepare for corrugate time hop to get away from the land of variegated die jobs, of Mary Kates and heartthrobs that if you ask me, spits in the very face of our jobs. Cause we got these dreams of dominion, cause we believe that we're different. But all that breeds is dissension, what's that leaving your pension? So you're pinching your pennies through your midlife crisis, itching for some bitch in her twenties who's more fun than your wife is. But I'm gonna drop the bass, like I'm tempting Skrillex. So the walls all fall in this Potemkin village. See, the man, centerpiece of your house is a fucking mantle of anxiety built upon pylons of piety with veneers on the smiles and variety of lies that we use to put our minds at ease. Or try at least. But when the brimstone hits home, you can't quell the flames. Your knees are bruised where you knelt to pray because you felt ashamed. So you yelped in pain, God, please provide me with some help today. But you were born for more than death and taxes. Still, you overlook the present. More concerned with that gift. This batshit culture's got you stepping the plate for a backlit vulture saying heaven awaits. And whoever complains, whoever debates with 11 complaints, 
never even gets a chance to step in the gates. So they walk into hell like, welcome to your home. Welcome to calamity. Welcome to the throne. Welcome.